Hi everyone, it's Tony Richards and welcome to today's Life Focus. Hope all is doing well and I hope that wherever you are, you're having a good, blessed, safe day. Wearing your masks as well. I want to talk for just a few minutes today about strength. Life Focus for today is the word strength. Walt Disney was fired from his first job. J.K. Rowling was divorced and nearly homeless when she started writing Harry Potter. Bill Gates was a college dropout and owned several businesses that failed. Now, none of these achievers would have become so extraordinary without the capacity for finding inner strength. See, inner strength gives you a sense of peace and a sense of meaning. It is a well of energy that you can draw from uh, to keep you going, to keep you going through the toughest of times. And many of us are facing some of the toughest times we've ever faced right now. And we have to really dig down to find that inner strength, don't we? But you see, too many of us give our strength away. We give it away by listening to critical and judgmental thoughts that disempower our worth, our potential, and our abilities. We give it away by listening to other people and then thinking that what they're saying and doing is always right. Well, not always. Sometimes we give our strength away by going too fast, by trying to do and accomplish too many things at one time. It's easy to get tra caught up in a trap of, I got to do this and I got to do that and I got this deadline and I have to meet this. Be careful with that. Sometimes we give our strength away when we say yes, when we really mean no. Have you, ever been, have you ever done that? Do you know anybody that does that? Have you ever said to anyone, stop saying yes all the time to everybody, and once in a while you need to just settle down, slow down, and say no, because you know what? It's not going to help me. Or at least say, not yet. Maybe I can do that later. We, we give away some of our strength when we don't listen to our feelings and our needs. You know, your gut will tell you a lot. A lot of people will say, you know what? I wanted, I, I knew I shouldn't have done that. There was just something inside that was telling me not to do it. And yet I did it. Be careful, you're giving your strength away. You give it away when you don't stick up for yourself and your feelings and the needs of others. When you know you need to help others and you can, you have that ability to and you don't. You also give your strength away when, when you're not taking good care of yourself with exercise, with meditation, with prayer, with nutrition. Connections with sleep, with self-care, etc. You give that strength away. Now, anybody who, who, who battles, I call it an addiction, an addiction of weight, um, of obesity, knows that it can zap your strength. And I'm going to do something today that I'm going to announce. And I'm going to announce it right now. My goal over the next six months is to lose 50 pounds starting today because I want that strength back. And I want that inner strength of knowing that I have self-control. And that's part of your strength too. So what are you gonna, what are you gonna give up or what are you gonna do over the next six months? Challenge yourself, challenge that strength. That's my challenge to me. Now, let's look at some of the real strategies you, you can incorporate into your everyday life that will cultivate your inner strength and help you unleash your power. Now, I'm going to take these from the work of Tony Robbins. Um, one of the biggest gurus around for motivational speaking. Develop a morning habit of thinking, acting, and being positive no matter what. That's hard for some people. That's hard, but develop that habit. Every morning when I get up, when I'm thinking, when I'm acting, when, I, when, I, when I'm going to do, what I'm being is going to be positive today. I'm going to start the day out being positive. And I'm going to watch it and, and I'm going to keep it up and keep going throughout the day. Try it today or try it tomorrow when you get up. This is going to be a day of I'm positive regardless of the situation. I'm going to be positive. Sounds simple, but too many fall into the negative trap from the start. Now, what do we mean by the negative trap from the start? Well, Zig Ziglar used to say, there's a thing that's by your bed or on your iPhone now or, or somewhere. And in the morning when it goes off, if we're a negative thinker, we say, oh, the alarm went off. Oh, gosh, I have to get up now. Now, if we're positive thinking, we're not going to say it's the alarm that goes off. We're going to say, the opportunity woke me up. So what's your opportunity when you get up in the morning? 
First thing, when that goes off tomorrow morning, just look in, look as you turn it off and say, what opportunity is facing me today? Understand that your choices define your life. You don't have to let your circumstances define you. I'm gonna say that again. Understand that your choices define your life. The choices I make are defining who I am. And if I don't make those choices, those circumstances will define me for me. Those with inner strength face tough decisions head on and use them to become stronger. Raise your standards. Raise them. It sounds straightforward, and it is. Expect more, and you'll get more. Expect less. You know the, you know the, you can finish it. Discover your purpose. Purpose is a component of inner strength. If we don't have a purpose, how do we know we're getting there? How do we get, how, how do we motivate ourselves? How do we push ourselves? How do we get up when that opportunity clock goes off in the morning? I'm gonna start using that. How do we know that? When you find your purpose, inner strength naturally follows. It will follow you <clears throat> because your mind moves towards your most dominant thought. We are a holistic being. And if we are positive and we think positive and we move positive and we act positive, it's natural that our mind is going to t push us and the tendency is going to go towards positive things, positive people, positive events, and positive outcomes. You see, it will naturally follow you. Turn your shoulds into musts. A must is something that you simply cannot live without doing. And when, when it comes to living the life of your dreams, every single step you need to take to get there is a must, is a must. So it's good to have a dream. Now let's start making that dream a reality. What do I need to do? What's the opportunity in front of me that I can take today a small step to move in that direction? Let go of the past, let it go. Stop feeding yourself disempowering stories of past mistakes and failures. It's gone. Just get rid of it. You know, I tell people all the time, don't hang on to things and people in your past that weigh you down. It's toxic. It's not good. It's not good for you and it's not good for others around you. Change the script in your mind and only allow positive thoughts. Only allow positive thoughts. Be very deliberate with yourself. Why not? You're the best thing that you have. Be deliberate in your, in your thoughts. Make it positive. And one of my favorites, focus, focus. This might be the most important of all. Where focus goes, energy flows. That's right. Where focus goes, energy flows, says Tony Robbins, and that's so true. And if you put your focus on your future goals, the sky is the limit. Put your focus on your future goals. So look, look, and learn from previous experiences. You see, the experiences you've had so far in life are valuable tools for building inner strength. It allows you to think through them, to process them, those that you don't want, you can discard, and those that will help you to move along the way, you can include them. So, have I had more or less of that feeling in the past? And what has changed since then? These are things you need to ask yourself, because it's important. When you learn from previous experiences, everything becomes a resource. Okay, I know now what not to do, so I'm gonna stay away from that. That's not a resource to me. Okay, this really helped me understand and, 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 and get going. That's a, that's a resource I can use. That person is. Set yourself up for success. Developing your internal resources takes more than just asking what is inner strength. It means priming yourself to find the strength you're seeking. Getting ready, building it up, knowing that I'm the best that I can be and I'm gonna keep moving. So set yourself up for success by building a routine and an empowering mindset. Focus on your strengths and how you'll use them because when you do, guess what? That's right, you go forward. Hey, thanks for listening today. Hope today was encouraging to you and I hope that you'll start using some of these resources and principles and steps and start 
taking a stronger step and strength in, to strengthen your life. Write me at Tony Richard speaking at gmail.com. You know, we're going to be starting a leadership academy starting January 3rd. And if you'd like more information on it, or if you'd like to uh, register, simply go to yourleadershipacademy.org, yourleadershipacademy.org. Or write me at the Leadership Academy at trichards at tonyrichards.net, trichards at tonyrichards.net. You can call us at 1-800-513-1906, one 800 513 one nine zero six. In about twenty minutes, this program will be up, up, uploaded to YouTube. Simply go to youtube.com, type in Tony Richards Life Focus, and you'll find this one along with other programs. Please share them. Please share them with others, because we want to help strengthen you, and in turn, that you can strengthen others. Because when that happens, yes, great things happen. Opportunities abound. The road opens up. The skies become clear, and we all go forward.